Hello queens and welcome back to my channel. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today I have another beauty review for you guys and this is featuring my loves over at Dr. Jart and I picked up this rubber mask a while ago. If you guys been following me then you've seen me feature both of these on my channel but I am now finally getting around to trying them out and we're going to actually play with the Clear Skin Lover Rubber Skin Mask so I can't wait to try this out. I've seen a few people review this already but sort of been like mixed reviews so I actually just want to try this out on my skin. I do have a facial cleanser from them and the facial cleanser is Dermaclear and this is the microphone one so this is the cleanser that I'll be using for today's review. So of course you want to make sure that your hands are washed you know antibacterial soap of course and as you can see I've been squeezing the hell out of it but if you aren't aware the sale starts actually on November 3rd so I cannot wait to actually go and start shopping and get some new favorites and also pick up some old faves as well so that way I can keep up on my skincare regimen so what I have done is I have a fresh clean washcloth here and I am going to just put it here in this bowl of hot water that I have so I can you know dampen my face and you guys also know you want to use a fresh washcloth every time you wash your face you don't want to use the same one like no you're not supposed to be doing that right now as you guys can see I have a couple of breakouts here but I do not mess with my breakouts at all I just leave them alone I just let them be I just let them do their own thing and I just simply just take care of it Alright you guys, so this is what the cleanser actually looks like when you use it on your face. As you can see, as soon as you add water to it, it actually does begin to foam up. And I love that about this cleanser. I've been using this cleanser now for like literally a year. Yes, a year. And I really do like the way that it does feel on my face. And every time that I use it, it does leave your skin moisturized, but, it's a, but it doesn't leave it oily. But it also does cleanse the face as well so i really do like that about this facial cleanser hence why i do use it throughout the year So as I stated, we are going to be using the Clear Skin Rubber Mask today. And um, this one says it tightens and it deep cleanses the pores. So definitely need that tonight. So we're going to use it. And you pretty much take the packet up top and you apply that all over your face after you've cleansed it. And it says you just you take the rubber mask and you remove the film and then you place it on there. So I want to get this pack it on here while my skin is still actually moist so this is it it says step one and i like the fact that they have the expiration date on there too it lets you know when it expires very important for your makeup and this and as well as skincare because they do place the expiration dates on that and i must say i found that out like probably like a couple months ago someone had posted about it and people was like oh no we didn't know because i didn't know either that products ex you know expired but this is what the product actually does look like and it's just white i don't think it has a scent um it has a soft scent it has a light scent it doesn't smell like anything crazy but yeah it just says to put it all on here so i'm using my mirror to apply this and it feels good on the skin. It's actually cooling. I like that. I like anything that's cooling because that means it has a calming effect to it, which means it's good for your skin. So like if you're like me, my skin isn't necessarily sensitive, but it can be at times. 
So I use anything that's for sensitive skin, even though I am oily the combination skin. And I use it and I notice that that does help with actually, you know, maintaining a healthy skin regimen. So I really do like that. So, you know, don't be afraid to try different products out to see what actually works for your skin. Because yes, I may be oily, but again, my skin can be sensitive at times. And I just want to make sure I take my take care of my skin, you know, overall. And I really like to use K-Beauty products. They seem to work best for my oily skin type. It really does. And I really do like the way that it just helps with calming anything. It treats anything. It's just not it's just not complicated it's just simple beauty with organic products and a lot of times I use stuff that are like detoxifying like Dr. Jar what we're using tonight but y'all I like the way that this feels it just glides on even with applying the brush it's not irritating my skin I don't even know if the mask will get all the way down here but I still want to put it on <laughs> and I do not wear makeup every day I probably wear makeup like once maybe every two weeks so that's why you guys don't really seem to do like a lot of makeup reviews but skincare reviews yeah i can definitely do because i use a lot of skincare i think i'm finished with applying this because i want to go ahead and get the rubber mask on but it feels so good so again this is, this is step one and this is the rubber mask clear skin lover it's an intensive clearing ample pack and i like it y'all it's really like calming it's cooling my skin down the mask pretty much looks just like the packaging itself and it just says here rubber mask sheet prevents nourishing ingredients from evaporating and soothes dry skin cleansing ingredients are absorbed deep into the pores to clean from the inside out multi seaweed extract and it's a marine moisturizing mask it has spirulina in it kelp sea lettuce seaweed and sea mustard but anything with spirulina in it is definitely good i saw one of my followers talking about spirulina shots too so um and i heard they're good for you too as well so yeah so let's get into this mask i just guess you just take the film off the back of it right now my face feels so good it feels so calm okay yeah this is like a legit rubber mask so this is what it looks like i don't want to drop it because i'm very clumsy believe it or not all right so let's apply the let's apply the top first since i'm talking that's the film on here so i'm taking that off and so let's just put this on oh my gosh and you have to press this into the skin so y'all i did read the instructions before coming on camera because i just wanted to make sure i knew what i was doing and yeah so you just press it in but i hope my fingernails doesn't tear up this mask <laughs> so as you guys can see it broke here I don't know what the heck happened you can see here that it's broken but that's okay though so I'm gonna leave this on because I still want to see how this works yeah but it says carefully remove and gently press into the skin to put the mask on note to let me see note to handle with care leave on for 15 to 20 minutes then remove gently and, and then you massage the remaining product into the skin it may be left on for up to 40 minutes for maximum hydration let me go to sephora.com real quick so i'm on sephora.com i'm at their website and i'm reading over the rubber mask clear skin lover mask that i'm trying out here from dr jart and it says here it's for all skin types pretty much even dry and sensitive and it says what it is is a clearing two-step rubber mask derived from algae that delivers actives while providing cooling benefits so that's why i said the product feels cooling because it really does it feels nice on the skin which i really do like its solutions are for pores blemishes and oiliness it says the rubber mask derived from algae reacts with calcium to cool and calm the skin as the lipophilic and hydrophilic actives cling to moisture in the skin to maximize benefits. Pore Clear Complex purifies the pores, providing a refreshing feeling. A multi-seaweed complex featuring gelidium, 
cartilaginium extract and lamaria y'all this is like a lot of scientific stuff stuff that i've seen before and um yeah so it's pretty much any it's a pretty much like a detoxifying mask it's going to help to minimize your pores and to help with the breakouts as well so yeah my skin feels really good though i'm glad i did use this one tonight so far i've had this mask on for about 10 minutes and i can tell though with the rubber mask on like right here it does feel like it's tightening up a little bit some. I can do feel that with the mask being on. So I don't know if that's because the mask is just sticking to my face and then my pores are shrinking because of the actual treatment. So yeah, I'm actually excited that I did use this tonight before I went back to Sephora because um, yeah, I might pick up another one because I really do like it because I actually again have the Bright Lovers one. So I'll have to try this out again soon. So if you want to see me use this one in a separate video, just let me know. But right now, so far so good. And once I get done wearing this on my face, I'm probably gonna read my book for a little bit. I will come back and actually take this off and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, so I've had this mask on now for about, what time is it? Okay, it's 9.05. So I've had this mask on for, yeah, about 20 minutes and I'm fixing to take it off because I'm ready to see. So my skin does feel pretty good. I mean, again, my skin does have that cool calming effect going on. Okay, so then it just says to massage it in. So that's what we're going to do. But I really do like the way this product feels on the skin, y'all. My face feels so freaking cool. That redness went away. A lot of that redness toned down. I can see that. And I like masks like that because it's one by Ula Henriksen. Oh my gosh, it's, and it's a blue blackberry enzyme mask and it's and it feels the exact same way. So yes, I like this mask. I like the fact that it comes in a sheet mask, but honestly, the rubber mask, it, it breaks. It's not, I don't know, it's too fragile, I guess. And my face was just a little bit too, I guess, broad for it. But besides the fact that the mask didn't actually fit, y'all, I like the way that my skin is feeling. That's really the main thing. So again, I did go in using the Dark Dejart Microphone Facial Cleanser. And then I used the Rubber Mask Clear Skin Lover from their collection. So next time I'm going to try out this Bright Lover one. But y'all, I don't really like the way that my skin is feeling. And I can tell that my pores have actually like minimized some. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. So I really did like it. Yeah, Dr. Jart, I love them. Again, I've been using Dr. Jart now for about a year. And I really do like the way that their products work. I mean, I just really do. They feel really nice. I would recommend them if you are oily to combination skin like myself. And yeah, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this beauty review, this skincare review from Dr. Jart, you guys. Again, you can check them out at Sephora. You can also check them out online and they also have their own site. I will leave the links listed down below. And also too, the mask was, I believe, $12.50 each. So yes, they are on the pricier side, but I did like the end result. I really do like what I'm seeing. Um, I can notice that my pores, again, have minimized some and my skin, again, feels so calm and it's very cool. And a lot of that irritation from the beginning has calmed down a lot. So I really do like that. Um, I would have to keep using it to see long term how it actually does work. So yeah, I'll probably pick it up again a couple more times, try it out. And I'll let you guys know again how it actually does work in the long haul over on Instagram on my social media platform, Queen She Me. So if you're wanting to know more in depth and quick, you know, up to date results on certain products that I use, definitely follow me over there. Like, comment, and subscribe you guys. And thanks so much for hanging out with me today, Queens. Bye. Mwah.